trouble again. Slaughter comes in with a teleport shuttle. It's gonna bring down the TIE Hunter for sure. Yes, one kill. Can they get, get more kills done though? Very, very strong tracing power. Unfortunately, made out of mana, mana break. Very smartly done by the engine man. He's gonna save his ground and fight the starter. Training all his mana, so no more crush, no more sprint, and they could just run away for free. 7 to 11, 10 minutes in the game, 11 minutes in the game, and it looks like Fnatic in a very, very strong lead after pushing down a couple of towers. Let's look at the gold difference chart. We see 5,000 gold lead, 40 diary side. Yeah, with 4 kills and a couple of tower leads, that will do that. 2 tower leads, to be exact. And uh, a lot of better farm, I assume, as well. Let's check out the farm difference here. And so we see Mitch comes around trying to set up a kill. Arrow's gonna whiff here on May. Let's see if it's gonna set up anything. Slittering Crush. Oh, no. Careful. Priestess have that haste rune. He could chase you down. Indeed, that's exactly what he's trying to do right here. But no, the tower protection is gonna scare away Mitch just momentarily. But let's look at the farm. 62 on Anti-Mage. 58 on Shadow Shaman. And Priestess, of course, with 38 being in that trial lane. But unfortunately, if you comparison... Uh, 52 on Jay, and that's pretty good, but that's, that's it. That's it. No farm on any of these guys. I mean, good distribution, but that, right now we see Mineski getting completely out farmed. Bad Tower is going to get destroyed as well. And when we saw Chen being picked up, I was like, man, Mineski is going to push. I was saying Mineski is a very aggressive early game ganking and pushing lineup, but it's Fnatic that's doing all the push. They're doing all the gank, and right now Venomancer and Tie Hunter uncharacteristically hitting their ultimate levels very very quickly good level distribution from Fnatic as well we saw very Venomancer opening drop down earlier and now are in complete trouble you see a half HP already a good swap on the Chen though but it might be putting Chen in a very bad position and now we do see offensive uh, going on the Tide Hunter Tide Hunter very low here as we see minus armor on him but unfortunately Jules actually got picked off by the Priestess on a solo kill on the top lane did not see how that happened but this team fight is still going on right now Sardar is going to come Around. It's gonna find Venomancer, Amplify damage. She's gonna see the Venomancer. This Venomancer is absolutely dead. And crush, crush, crush. There is a crush. And a couple more right hits is gonna do the job. Look at the absolute damage output from May with that minus armor. And that's just level one Amplify damage with minus eight. Did I say minus twelve? I meant minus sixteen. Uh, level sixteen. Back in the mid lane here, Gordon still free farming it up. Vid Booster is already up. Perseverance is already up. Going a little bit of everywhere with his item build, but of course it's going to be going for that uh, battle fear right now. And then he might just transition this into Vanguard, or he could just go for Linking Port, or just for the Vid Booster for a little bit of extra HP. But at this point here, he's absolutely fine. A thousand, a thousand one hundred HP on Anti Mage. Generally, I would say that that's very low. But considering that they're doing a lot, I mean, they're doing a very good job. Anti Mage very high level. He's not really dying uh, with high frequency. So I think this should be absolutely enough to keep him alive, especially with in conjunction with that power threat. Uh, so he. Could, uh, feel very very safe going into that uh, battle fury first and looks like this push is going to be uh, trying to happen once again ravage is up though and here he goes going to walk in for a huge ravage against may may wow uh, look at that trap on him as well yeah, there is a grave on him right now he's trying to tp out can he make a tp out he is going to make a tp out nicely done jewel's going to come around to get a kill mass serpent war is going to do a lot of jam shackle shot on him as well venomaster drops his ult but he is done right now it looks like rr is going to take so much damage from those serpent wars he's going to be fine and i can't I can't believe it after that Master Burn Ward, after that Ravage, he's, they're going to be fine, but here comes the Anti Mage. There's a uh, nuke right on the Wimmer, and he blew up immediately, and looks like Jay going to be in trouble as well. Gordon picks out Dominating Double Kill Streak, and he's not done yet with his Blink. He can be able to chase down a couple of heroes. I see Venomaster looking for that Venge, Venge barely making it out alive, and he's going to be fine here. Good recovery from Fnatic, but early uh, we had a very, very strong opening here, and nice Grave again. <laughs> <laughs> Strong arrow from Mitch here. Uh, but yeah, very, very nice grave on the slaughter and good job by him TPing out. But after the fact that he TP out, that also means he was not able to help his team to do any more DPS. And uh, we saw anti mage uh, blinked in and just absolutely clean up two extra kill here. And we're going to see a Brawlsword being purchased on the anti mage. And that is going to transition into a very, very strong making farming and DPS output of anti mage. Again, let's check out how we're doing in terms of gold difference. 7,500 gold. And you see Fnatic is getting more and more advantage with the minutes passing. And that's not looking too good for Miniski. They do have some very, very strong mid game heroes, such as Ventral Spirit, Chen, pretty good in mid game as well and oh shackle just for that troll warlord they don't want that one going it's gonna send it home nicely played by woots a little bit troll low 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 face against these guys unfortunately for fanatic but yes going back to the mineski team 
fairly strong mid game lineup, but nothing much beyond that. Slardo not too good in the late game stage. Uh, Dazzle okay in the late game, but you know not that good. And same thing with the Windrunner. So if if Mineski wants to win, they gotta win this maybe in the next 10 to 15 minutes. But can they right now? Because right now Fnatic gonna push on yet another tower. Gush goes in right now for J. J have a lot of mana. It's gonna immediately grave. It's gonna be absolutely fine. Jewel comes in right now. But really, I think they could defend this tower. Shackle Shot's gonna hit on two hero. Tower is on focus on... Oh no. J gonna be in complete trouble. Grave mostly on cooldown. And now we have a lot of damage being outputted by Gordon. There's a net on him right now. Just as slow as advances. Tower taking a lot of damage. Hand of God comes in right now. And Gordon still tanking like an absolute madman. No more mana here from the room to do anything but the tower is pushed out that's really all fanatic wanted here and we still more offensive going on Ravi being dropped on the winner very very low on the HP she's gonna go down and they're gonna chase right into the base of Mineski right now fanatic looking almost unstoppable I'm not too sure what Mineski you do about a slaughter went down to the top lane to a solo kill I resume I'll check this right now yes yeah, a, a solo kill against slaughter unfortunately here we have a Boots of Travel coming in from the Priest. It's going to leap in right here. Arrow is going to miss. But uh, he's going to join the team fight. And this Rax might be in trouble. Fnatic about to get an 18 minute Rax attempt. We'll see if they can get this one done. Mass Serpent Ward's off cooldown. Uh, 30 seconds off cooldown. He will have to monitor to use it fairly soon after popping the Arcane Boots. Uh, they could go back for a Roshan as well if they want to do so. He's going to get back and get some mana immediately. I think this can be a Roshan attempt. Back in the mid lane here. Gordon pushing that lane a little bit as well. He will have that Battle Fury finish. I presume it is flying on the way. Yeah, Battle Fury up on the Anti-Mage. We do have the entire team. Fnatic backing off for now. Maybe going for the Roshan. We'll have to wait and see. Or maybe pushing that in this mid tower. I think that's exactly what they want here. That is going to be the 6th tower being pushed down, 40 uh, Mineski.